Hey guys, it's just the crafter coming to you on this beautiful day. Um, well, evening. Um, oh, whatever. Uh, I first I want to show you guys. My mom made me one as well. I put a short out showing the candy Valentine's Day. I haven't opened mine. I'm so late of opening it. I have not opening, I haven't opened it. I just really don't want to, but I love mine because, guys, let me show you. She made it where I have it to light up. Oh my God, I love it. And it's got candy. And then it's got the little kiss rope ribbon on it. Oh my God, I just love it. I really don't want to open it. She said I should. Um, and she made it efficient where I can close it back up and I can also take off this because she used Velcro to put it on and off. Oh my gosh, she's so... My mom is the bomb. So I haven't opened it. Um, I'm still deciding if I want to open it with you guys at the end of the video um, because I have a very long haul. But I did want to just show you guys it. It was beautiful. The other one had uh, different detailing, different design. It was unique, but mine was the only one that had the light up lights in the inside, um, which I just thought it was given because it you could see them in there. And it's basically like treats and candies and goodies in there for me for later. So she knows I love that. So, yeah. Thank you, mom. I love you. This was a, a one product for me i mean i am like astonished and i really don't want to open it but she said i can because it closes back up so <laughs> so maybe maybe but um getting into the haul this is a massive haul because this is from yesterday the day before yesterday and i think last week so it's a three-day thing um the bag is like massive i'm gonna show you like that is the full bag like it is in the marshall's bag like you know those things are can get stuffed so yeah so you guys gotta bear with me with that because that is a lot so right now morning y'all get your little snacks uh get yourself something to drink because it's gonna be a long one so i grabbed these cheddar cheese crackers again me and my daughter love these these are actually so much better than the uh the cheese it's um it's more natural stuff like it says total calories if i'm not mistaken is 140 but it's carbs total six percent so i don't know what that means but still it's not bad because the numbers are lower than than usual other stuff like as you can see, it's like 6%, 10%, 8%, 11%. That's about it. That's it. Everything else is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, made with real cheese. So, oh yeah. So, I got three boxes of those. Then, I got another milk. The Modern Pantry Whole Milk. Um, it is a 32 ounce. It's a one, one quart. So, I grabbed one of those. Um, I really don't go through milk a lot like that. So, um, and I'm the only one that uses it. Like when I'm going to bake or make mashed potatoes or something that I like to use milk with to make like the mac and cheese, things like that. So, yeah. Then, um, now I have the bunny ones of these. But I had to get the blue one with the little Easter egg because I regretted it last year not getting it. So, um, I got it this year, then I was told that my son wanted one, so I got one as well. I gotta let my mom know not to let him see it, though. <laughs> I gotta remember that. So, uh, I got that. I got one of each. Then, they had not only these, but they had other ones there in the bag. But I grabbed a few of these for my mom and for myself. Um, these are extra ones are actually for my mom. I grabbed mine. She has hers. These can has a little strings on it. They're calling them carrot decor. Now, look at the size of these decor. Like, I want to use the hand, my hand. Like, I'm going to use my hand because it's, like, crazy. So, I'm from my pinky, from my pinky to, like, 
past my wrist so it's pretty pretty big they're pretty long they're decent it says not a toy for decorative purposes only made in china so i thought these were cute these have little polka dots a little bow burlap bow and then it has the burlap string so you can cat you can you can hang them just like this. You can put them around the house, like hang them around the house like that and have like little bunny trail looking at, like it's on the top of your ceiling. Um, if you have a window like me, I'll probably just hang some on top of the gondola or make a garland with them. I know they have their own garlands, but yeah, you can make your garlands with that. Then as I was getting there, like this was, yeah, this was yesterday and they were putting out new stuff. So those were part of the new stuff yesterday and they had a new Easter stuff. So I was on the phone with my mom um, and the, the guy goes, the manager from the store goes, please don't touch anything before I take my pictures. But the girls all know that it's not gonna last. So one of the girls allowed me to go in before he took his picture. So I already had my stuff, but I had a basket and it was already filled with other stuff. So he couldn't see that I already had went. So at the end of checkout, he goes, I took my pictures, you can go and get, and get the stuff you want. I was like, oh really, thank you. I actually end up going back because, before leaving, because I got more, ba I got more of the items that I wasn't gonna get extra of, but I ended up getting them, so. Yeah, so I grabbed one of each one, so that way you could see them. Um, and my mom has hers, I have mine. Um, I definitely got all four of the different designs. Uh, I got hers, I got mine, so she is gonna be ecstatic. So. I got her this one with the like a coral pink truck if you can see that right and it got a little carrots in the back I just love the little tin okay if you want to stuff this like this or get like a lid for it you can it's so cute so it's both sides so there you go and they are sturdy um, they remind me of the tin, tin man from you know Wizard of Oz then I got this one that says Happy Easter, and this one has the blue truck with little Easter eggs. So I said, yes, I'm grabbing this one for me because my mom wanted the one with the carrot, more simpler. Then I got her the one with the gnome. I think I got her the one with the gnome and the bunny trail, so I got her three. And I got myself the same one, so, except the difference was I got the truck, so. I got the Happy Easter with the 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 Nomi bunny. I don't know how you say it. So yeah, the Nome bunny. And then they had Cottontail Farms Open Daily Carrots, Chocolates, Eggs. Carrot, chocolate, carrots and chocolate eggs. Okay, so that is that one with the with the bunny. I am so not liking my camera sometimes. Okay, I'm so sorry. So there you go. So that is the bunny one. It's not doing the justice, but if you see them, you got to grab them because I haven't gone there since I was there yesterday. So, um, and they had other stuff that they were putting out, but they put it out, um, they put them out Wednesdays and Thursdays. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they wait till Friday um, or Saturday. So, um, I went and grabbed whatever I can grab, and I haven't seen anything else, but I'm pretty sure when I go back, they're gonna be gone. They're gonna be gone. It's just like, that's why I grabbed so many, because I'm not going to do like I did last year. Then they had varieties of these. I should have done a walkthrough though. I should have done a walkthrough, but I was on the phone, so don't mind me. Um, so they had a whole bunch of these little cups. Um, my mom said that my son wanted this cup so i grabbed it for him they had this one they had a light pink and they had a purple one so they didn't have a blue they didn't have any um in like a green or anything so this was the closest to it so like to to go more for boy so i said yes yes i like it plus a little chick on it chirp, chirp, you know so yeah then yesterday also that was also yesterday yesterday i 
I was like amazed because I hit the food section and they had it had, like semi stacked in there and I was like great and they had these Kender seasoning garlic and her herbal and herb sorry garlic and herb with sea salt and lime master butcher 2.4 ounces from founded since 1946 it says award-winning flavors for over 70 years for chicken pig and fish okay so chicken pork and fish and they give you recipes like this is freaking amazing it says zero calories zero grams total carbs zero percent zero grams uh so yeah i grabbed i grabbed four of them because i love anything that says garlic and herb so i grabbed four of them then um i decided to grab these now because i'm going to be making my kids easter basket make basket uh, or Easter egg soon, um, maybe in like another couple of weeks, maybe two weeks from now, because I feel like everything is too fast for me right now. Like I know we we're not even in March, we're still in February, so like I'm like trying to think. We still have to go through St. Patty's before we go to that, and I actually have a sneak peek for something for St. Patty's that I want to show you guys because I have a friend that is Irish, so you know she passes by my house, so sometimes you know it's a little it's a little gratitude. So, anyways, so I, um, that's before the, the, the pack, but anyways, uh, her, the Herbie's Happy Hoppers, they're shaped like carrots and bunnies, and I'm kind of mad now because I only grabbed four, and I should have grabbed more. <laughs> I'm obsessed because these are so cute like they're they only come out for easter so i grabbed four packs of those to put them in the, their little easter bag um easter egg that i will be doing and then i finally finally my store it, they're upgrading they're like they must have heard me the dollar tree gods must have heard me or someone must have heard me from dollar tree or y'all be watching on the low somewhere okay because I've always said in my videos that I don't find all of the cookies. I don't find all of the stuff like that that everyone shows. This year, this year I did it good. This year I found all of the Easter cookies in every color I needed. Every color I needed. I have a yellow, I have a green, I have a pink, and I have a blue, okay? That is the first time I have found every color for every kid that I have to give a gift to for upcoming Easter. <laughs> okay, so, and my gift is I like, getting crunched in here. So I will be taking this out from here and I will be moving it in front of me right here. Okay. Then I also found these in the cooking aisle, which I grabbed two of each different style of this brand because my husband likes to put these in salads whole or diced up or chopped up so it gives him the um option i gave him basically the option if he wants them whole or if he wants them diced up these are um one is sliced salad spanish olives with uh pimiento and that's how it says it pimiento okay from bells and then the other one is pitted spanish olives so this is also from Bells, and these are ones of four ounce and ones of five ounce. Now the one with the the pitted is four ounce, and the one that are you know sliced for salads are five ounces. So one is a little bit more. It says olives are a calorie. No, olives are a cholesterol free food. Oh wow. Okay. Well, they gave you a fun fact. I'm so sorry. I was reading it fast, so I read it wrong. It's a fun fact. And it says must be kept refrigerated after opening for safety. Um, it says it for both. So, yeah. It does, t on both labels, it does tell you to be aware of the pit and of or pieces of it from the factory that, you know, they can't take them all out or 
some pieces stay when you, you know, when you cut it, cut, cut, you know, sometimes. That's a ma that it's manufactured. It's not, you know, us, but yeah. You know what I mean? It's a machine dicing it up, not us. So I grabbed two of each of those for my pantry. Then um, I showed you guys in a little short the bees because I didn't know where they had them or if they were going to come out with more. So, haha, -ha, kudos to them for bringing out more bees. So I got the bees and then I saw right below it hiding the ladybugs. Oh my goodness, the ladybugs. I, endless ideas with them from making reefs for the summer, from making a nice gift and like some like nice hair bands with little bows, just kept that on it. God, my God, guys, my brain be going on a thousand. If I could sit here all day and tell you ideas for different things that I have found, y'all yeah, could write a book. Anyways, <laughs> then I found these. I don't know, my mom said she saw me haul these last year, but I feel like these are a little bit bigger. These are six inches by 10.2 inches. So, and these are a two pack and these shaped, um, shaped gift bags, like little carrots for Easter. So I grabbed these because I like to do little giveaways for certain things and I like to gift things. So these little things for those time of the, uh, of the months when I want to do stuff like that, it's good to have these, but yes, and they're great material. And guys, you can actually make like little um, little mini pillows or little mini carrots, you know, crochet them, however you want to do. I, don't, I know it's not crochet, sew them closed so that way you can, don't have to open them. There's endless on that. Or you can make your own, you know, burlap fill of the carrots like these. Like, so these are the other ones that I said. So this is the same one as the other ones that I got my mom extra the other, the, that same day. And my goodness, my goodness, I grabbed these. She has two, she has one of these. I didn't find any more of these when I went back. I'm hoping that when I do go back, I do find them or if I go to the other location soon, they have them. So yeah, that was when I went the first time and that was for Valentine's Day, they had those out. And then I went back yesterday. So yeah, that was crazy. Then um, I found these um, manicure sets, five pieces from Sassy and Chic. Now, I just loved it because it's so cool to put, like if you're traveling with a little kid or if you're, you're a new mom and you're traveling and you're, you don't wanna carry so many stuff for you um, or the baby and you need a little small nail clipper, you have a little small nail clipper. You have a little um, hand brush there, so if you wanna clean off the, you know, something that they dirty, you can use that to take off stains. Then you got the little nail filer, so you don't wanna cut, you don't wanna cut their nails, cause they're already, they're still short, but you wanna file it down, you can use that. And now the little cuticle thing, I would say you just use that for yourself. Like if you have dirt under your nails, you can take the dirt under your nails when you're, you know, out. So I thought these were so cool. You know, obviously you could use them for what it's for, like on the go, if you, you are one of those girls that like to have these in your in your purse. But I thought that was great for a new mom and to have, keep in the little baby bag or a traveler's bag or something like that just for emergencies. So yeah. But again, you, you gotta see the detailing. It is holographic in the back now. It's a little fox with a rainbow. And they had the unicorn with the little kitty corn they no i think that's a kitty corn i don't know how you call them cat corns uh i don't know a uni cat i don't know what whatever um but yeah i thought that was cute they were only in those two styles and um it's like a purple or uh, velvet i don't know weird color and then the pink i'm sorry i can't distinguish that color of purple whatever <laughs> Then um, I love to I love to buy cleaning products, especially laundry detergent cleaning products for them. Now, it is a little disappointing. These are a dollar twenty five. They are more anywhere else. Um, they do bring only eight compared to the ones I usually buy. They um 
bring 10 in them and they're bigger, the packs. These are a little bit smaller. I already opened one downstairs, but I'll open you another one so you guys can see. Um, I am going to open them anyways because I have to put them in my little storage jars that I bought to organize my basement and keep everything nice and organized everywhere in the house. So um, I got these because these are Wizard Laundry Detergent Pods. I already used some amazing the power on these are amazing it says if you do a large load like a, a a larger load you use two i used the two on like a medium sized load and it was amazing amazing and it says for a small load one so yeah it smelled great um i also mixed it in with a couple of, like you know i mixed it in with the other powder and stuff like that but i mainly smelled that as soon as the the water hit it, it dissolved so well, I smelt it. Like, um, even when I opened the bag, I smelt, I smelt it rapidly, and it was amazing. Like, it just smelled so great. And um, these are how they look. I know they're so tiny, but I put two of these in there, and they were freaking powerful, and they're amazing. So, I would recommend this. I will give it... I would give it um, out of out of five. I would give it a five out of five. Yeah, I'll give it a five out of five. I give it a five out of five. One through five. Yeah, I'll give it a five because it's 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 good and it's ocean fresh. That's what the scent is. Um, it says long lasting freshness, all machines, and it is good for. H E. Uh, that's that brand, I guess. They do have an expiration date as well, guys. It says August 21, 2025. So remember that. They do have an expiration date. That is amazing to know. But you know, I wash clothes every other day of the week. So I I don't really need to know an expiration date plus it is two years till it expires and i'm not gonna wait two years to use them they will be gone before then so yeah um i grabbed whatever packs they had of those i think it was like four or five of them i grabbed um and i just decided yeah that's 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 about it because i for eight do the math because you spend more than that in the in the grocery store in a with the tie pouch. So I mean, I mean, I know they're smaller, but they pack a punch. But anyways, moving on. These are mango by B Pure by B Pure. Sorry, by B Pure mango cuticle oil pen. I found this interesting. It says mango cuticle oil pen. This is a portable. It has a little brush on, little mechanism there. Um, it has a little twist, and I guess you just if it's it's portable, so you can make your cuticles back to life. It is a 0 0.06 fluid ounces, so that's 1.8 millimeters, and it says. It says, begin with cleanse dry hands, twist the bottom of the cuticle pen, push the liquid up and into the bristles. Once the liquid had reached the bristles, brush the oil onto cuticles and massage onto skin for the first use. The pen may need to be twisted several times. Okay. It has mineral oils, seed, seed, seed oils, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, mango seed oil. Okay, well, it has a lot of little different oils that I've never seen before, so I thought that was cool, so I grabbed two. There was only two left. There was another one that had a different... Uh, a different one um but it did not convince me it looked bit weird so i just said let me grab the mango mango looks a little bit more um warming and more you know inviting um then i already opened one of these um i already started using it 
Uh, these are the Glad Quick Tie Hefty Duty Guarantee Strong Gain fits a 30 gallon can, a 30 gallon can, uh, large trash bags. It only brings four for a dollar twenty five, but sometimes I don't like to use my construction bags that I have for like the, the big stuff, like when you have a lot of trash to go out, like when you have the massive parties, the Home Depot brand one. So these are 30 gallons, it's durable, it's, um. let me show you guys, cause I have one already in my trash, but that trash I will have to change it. So uh, I decided to open it anyways to show you guys. So yeah, so it is durable, it is sturdy. Like, for what I see, it's not flimsy, like, really plastic flimsy. So, look, like, it is a name brand. Remember, it is Glad Quick Tie, so it does have that. And it is game scented for Breeze, so it keeps the smell inside the bag and not at all in the house when I throw out different types of, like, meats or, you know, things that need to be thrown out that smells bad. Like, yeah, so... That is a go-to to go to, guys, because that is an amazing deal for $1.25. Yeah, there's only four bags, but if you are trying to conserve from having to buy your big construction bags from Home Depot, and they do, you know, you if you have only a couple of bags of trash, like I have a bathroom upstairs, a bathroom in my basement, and then I have my two trash here, one for recycling and one for my regular. So the bags in the bathroom upstairs generally and downstairs don't, are not that big they're regular size bags they're small they're small containers so i don't have that much trash then the trash from the the sink the, the the kitchen like that's the only one that accumulates but to stick it in a big bag and then you have all that empty space where there's nothing else being thrown out i find that very um wasteful so with this at least i use everything and it's not being wasted if that makes sense um So, um, anyways, I'm sorry about the noise around the surroundings because my daughter's on the phone upstairs with her phone, so you can hear it down here. I found more of these chocolate chips, um, nut-free chocolate because I will be doing some, um, I will be melting these down and I will probably be doing some little chocolate molds, um, and making homemade candies because this year I'm... I don't think I'm going to actually buy as much candies as I, like, I did for Valentine's because I didn't want to make anything at that time. <laughs> I know it sounds so bad, but I bought these because lately I've been on the mood to bake and make new things and be a little bit more creative while I have the spare time to do it. So I figured let me do that. Let me grab these two bags. Um, I did grab two bags in the previous haul. So yeah, I don't need any more after that. And then I saw these um, that they came back. I saw that these came back. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for the other one because I know I grabbed two. Yeah. So I saw someone on TikTok, not TikTok. Well, it was on TikTok that it was posted, but I saw it on Instagram from a TikTok video and it was also on YouTube. Um, uh, it's which is weird. I seen these people grab these um the, these placards. That's what they're called placards. These are for your um to clean your teeth individually, like so that way you can get in between the cracks of your teeth or whatever to get all the dirt and the nasties. So yeah, yeah, these are placards. So whatever. So you, I'm I saw that the person took one of these and used it to basically go in a in a in in and out motion in their shower heads like on their shower head and then they ran the water and all of that that was clogged into their shower heads came out and it was disgusting so i said why not why not give it a try and clean my shower head and actually clean it for real like i figured I can spray some chemical on it, then use this, go in and out with the friction, and then put a CLR bag wrapped around it, and then when it's done sitting in it, I run the water and 
I have a fresh new clean disinfected shower head. Well, I have two shower heads, a bottom and a top. So shower heads. So yeah. So I grabbed that. The one in the basement doesn't get used. I can do it there too. But no one really uses the shower in the basement. It's basically just for um, laundry purposes. And the fridge is downstairs. So whatever. Um, and then I found these decorative um, towels. Now, guys, I'm a little upset because I don't have the actual, like, uh, matching towels for Easter because they never have more than one. So I saw this one, and it says, Happy Easter Um it says bunnies and carrots on it, egg hunt. Oh, it smells like detergent. So they only had the one of this one, this kitchen towel. So I grabbed this one because I thought it was so freaking cute. So cute. Um, for my kitchen. And since lately I've been using, I've been decorating with three towels. I said, why not? grab this with this and match it up and just pair it up what do you guys think so i figure because of the flowers and everything it'll match because you know i have that that same kind of green matching now this one says heavier weight on it and they are they are so much thicker and bigger than the ones i had last year and i can actually compare it and compared to corner to corner, height to height, they are bigger. They are bigger. So I thought that was so cool. I grabbed those and these are 15 inches by 25 inches. And the other one, it says it's the same thing, but it's just bigger, I guess. They're, they're done bigger, I don't know. So I grabbed that and to go with it, I got a matching I want to make sure I have all the matching stuff. Okay. And then to match, because I didn't find the Easter stuff, like I said, and I'm going to go looking for it like crazy because I want it to all match. But if I don't, I at least have this to match it. I found the oven mitt that matches the other um, flowers. But like I said, it definitely goes with the, the decor of the Easter. So, you know, with that little green that matches on the top and everything else, like you see, like that matches. So I grabbed that and then I got the pot holders as well. So, yes. Um, and these bring two. So I thought that was great. And then, guys, you know, I'm obsessed with the Nomi's for decorations. Why do they have the pink nomies? Oh, they smell like soap. Everything smells like soap. So, <laughs> and I think it's because I have soap in the bag. I forgot. <laughs> so, um, I found these pink nomies to go with my decorations for this year with the the tree and the on my table and the tree on the front window that's behind here. So I will be get using these, and I have already other nomies. Um, put away for Easter. They had another color seam of Nobi. It was a aqua with a blue, but it was not like last year's that the bottom was all aqua and then the, it was like a weird blue on the top. It was blue on the bottom, like my color, my blue, like really nice. And then it was a nice aqua and then I didn't get it because I was like, I don't really need it. But then I was like, ding, I gotta use those to give my kids. But you know, too late now. Um, Cause my kids are, you know, they're big. I have, a teenager and a, and two preteens so yeah you know I mean my little one loves it still but yeah um and then guys you know I said that if I seen the Buzz Lightyear Hot Wheels um full set if I can find it in my Dollar Tree again I would get the full set so I got the full set again <laughs> so I had to because that is a steal for a dollar twenty-five. Um, these will probably be going to my godson uh, if I don't put them online to resell. Um, 
because that is a new it thing. Um, again, I try to bargain with what I put up as a reseller as well. Um, but if I don't, that'll probably be included into his Easter gift because I was so like lost in like life, <laughs> I want to call it adulting. Um, I totally forgot to send him a Valentine's Day gift and I felt so bad. So that will go for his Easter along with other stuff that I owe him from uh, Christmas. So yeah. Then guys, I know you guys saw my last haul. I had the egg shaped cookie for my kids to design of their own. This time they have the bunny. They had the bunny. So I got the bunny. I grabbed the bunny, guys. So now my kids get to do two cookies each, a bunny and an egg, and they get to design it however they want. And these are 2.8 ounces each. It includes the icing, the colored sugar, and sprinkles. So if you don't want to do it with the traditional colored sprinkles that it comes with or whatever, you can um, get an, in, like a small one from Dollar Tree that they have them now too. And the bakery section, like the the party section they be having the sprinkles you can get the blue the yellow or a purple you can get them in different colors and you can mix them up and not use only the ones that ends in here which it looks like it's only pink so yes and then it also says it expires 11 23 so these are still good till november so that's great i will be giving those um to do as an activity for the day of easter um because that's just how I am we like to do activities with our kids so yeah uh, especially my sister gave it up to her kudos to her she, she's like the bomb of the bomb when it comes to being an aunt so yeah um, I also found the pillowcases for Easter so I grabbed three I gave my mom one because she's the only oh, she likes to always have just the one i like to have doubles of everything so i grabbed the two this is so freaking cute because it has a bunny but it looks like a cutout bunny and it is a decent sized pillow it is 15.74 inches by 15 by 74 inches so 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters um i am gonna open one just so you guys can see it i'm gonna be trying to do that as much as possible for you guys to see not everything i can because sometimes there might be gifts so i don't want to so yeah but oh my freaking goodness oh my goodness look how big that is like this can be a pillow you can actually use this for something else. Like, you can cut out the bunny. Oh my God, you can cut out the bunny and put it into like a, or you could put it, Um, you could put hay in here and turn it into a little sack to put outside as decor. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I'm sorry, this is just so cute. And in the back, it's like a plain color. They should have just done the concept of the same thing. Oh my God. It's giving me the Christmas vibe one. But uh, I still have my Christmas one put in my room, so please don't judge me. Like, I didn't put it away because I love to sleep with my pillows. And especially if I make them, like, why not? Like, I got a small pillow from, um, from I had already a small pillow, I think, and I used it for that. So kudos to that. And now I just got to find a pillow, two pillows for my bunny ones. And I should be fine. I don't know what went behind me, but I don't want anything to break up pop. So I'm just going to move that a little bit more. And then I also found these microfiber washcloths. Like these were so freaking soft. And these I found them at the, um, the bath, like the shower and the bath section, like the bathroom stuff, the core. So these are a five pack and I love this color and I honestly now regret not getting two because I could have give these to my mom because these are would have been great for my niece because these are um, these are microfiber so they're easier to wash with and easier to clean up and easier to just rinse and hang up and dry 
other than with a regular towel because sometimes regular towels take forever to even dry and then it's not really good because it stays with moisture too long so yeah so these are cute color cute 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 color and not only for my 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 niece but also i could have gotten it for my my two my two sons or my daughter um and then they only have this one garland for easter and it was a buffalo check of black and white with the bunnies so i grabbed that i grabbed that i know it's not gonna match anything of mine because i have color but you know i had to i had to so this might just be on my banister i might just put this on my banister since no one really sees it so why not and then of course i needed to decorate my tree for easter and i needed easter eggs for it yeah so i grabbed these 12 pack of foam eggs um they already have the little uh the little strings into them and it shows that that's what they're for for the little tree so i grabbed two packs of these um hopefully that's enough for both trees but you know the way i do it is i just decorate the front of the one of the trees that's showing in the front for the window and then i don't decorate the back because no one can see it and then the one on the table i do in my house um it's the same thing i only decorate the front you don't need to decorate the back because who's seeing the back it's you know covered by another window so yeah so i grabbed two of these so that's 24 of these so that should be perfect um and then guys i know y'all might think i'm crazy for collecting things like this for myself but as an adult but i'm a 89 baby and Looney Tunes was a thing growing up. Even if you wasn't born in the year I was or you were older than me, everybody loves Looney Tunes, okay? Everybody loves Looney Tunes. So, of course, if I see them, I'm going to get them. So, they had the Looney Tune, the Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, and, of course, Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. I'm mad because you know who I want? I want the the I want the pirate. What's his name? Um with the red I think his name is Redbeard. I want I want the I want that one. That one and Elmer Fudd. Why didn't y'all come up with an Elmer Fudd? I want Elmer Fudd. He oh, it's bunny season. No, it's rabbit season. No, it's you know, it's duck season, rabbit season. Come on, y'all know, y'all know that. But yes, I had to get them. So yeah. <laughs> And they have little fake little feet. So yeah, and the little, and their ears are very, very, very hard. They're like a foam. So yeah. I thought that was so cool. So I grabbed the one of each of those. Um, and it's ironic. I got Donald Duck, Daffy, and, and I got Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, and Lola Bunny. And that is my pairs for my, that is right there, my three kids. A boy, girl, boy. So that's kind of cool um then i found another one of these under the bed shoe organizers so i grabbed the last one of that and i also found these um this one is a storage bin and it is a like it i gotta show you guys because this is the one i said that they had that i wasn't really convinced with it because it was like a collapsible and reopenable one and you can collapse it and it can reopen it is um 12 inches by length and 9.37 in width and in height it is 7.87 in height so basically 31 and 31 centimeters in length 24 centimeters in width and 20 centimeters in height so let me show you that so this is it this is how it comes right and this is how it basically opens up oh yes what wow that is kind of big i kind of regret not getting wow and look it closes right back up well i might have be having difficulties because you know that's just me and life um but yeah if you get the point it closes right back up uh, the way you need to do it right back with the way it needs to but that is a decent size i mean it's a really good decent size and it's not done like just the fabric if you hear it 
it has a like it has like a plastic and actually i had it inside out so guys don't even quote me on that i had it inside out okay so let me fix this i had it inside out all this time oh my goodness but that's the way they gave it to me so you know that's how i got it and bought it so it's not really my fault but yeah look at this oh my god this is so so freaking cute if you're organizing your room or you have one of those cubbies that you put or you live in a dorm for college yeah these are great for clothes these are great for clothes and even if you're going like to do laundry and you're doing a little small load and you live in the campus in campus like that is like look at that like what like what like yeah this is great i'm i give this a five out of five. Yes, that is like winning for me with storage um, products from Dollar Tree. Again, not disappointed at all. I wish they would have made the other ones like that because that would have make a big difference and it wouldn't be so soft and it wouldn't flim as much. So um, moving on, but yeah, that was my only comment. And so like I was saying about the same patties, I grabbed this to put on my door um hopefully it does fit the proper way and you get to see everything it, they show it on the ceiling for some reason i don't know why but yeah but it is a wall decorative it's it's a ceiling decoration don't know why it might need to hang some stuff i'm not too sure but i'll figure this out on my door we'll figure this out so um then i got these soaps that I found interesting. These are moisturizing bar baths bars by Yardley. It's um, hemp seed oil nourishes and soothes the skin. I know my mom is gonna tell me something about it, but yeah, I so I got it and it's a four point zero ounce. So yeah, and something sounds like it's in this one. I don't know why, but it was. But it smells so good. It smells like a like. It doesn't smell like what you think it is because I know it says hemp seed oil and it shows what it shows, but it smells like um, lavender mixed with like an herb. That's what it really smells like, a lavender like mixed with an herb. So if that makes sense. So, I would recommend it if you're into the whole hemp seed oils and stuff like that and and. You know like i am so yeah i'll give you a review about how it is when you use it because i know my husband usually gives me them and they're usually for him so i grabbed um some signs i didn't find what i needed for the signs because these will be for outside uh i gotta spray these down i have to actually make them waterproof for outside but i grabbed this nice decent size sign that it is uh, it doesn't say how big it is, but this says hop. They had another one with the opposite that it had uh, purple and then a yellow on this end. I didn't like it, so I just grabbed the blue with the pink. Again, going more more traditional colors. And then I grabbed this one with the bunny, and he has his little bicycle he has a little bit of glitter but i can deal with that glitter this one has a little bicycle it does have his little cotton tail on it and it has this little swinging little thing i might just use this one for my door so um since it's so cute um my mom was thinking of probably making a wreath for me but i think this is like so nice and simple and not going out with the whole wreath because then i have to like be so gentle with the reefs i love my reefs but i just have to sometimes you know, I have to be gentle with them. And then um, I got these. And I swear I think I got these already last year. Um, I think I have them. I'm not too sure. But I got the his and hers bunnies for outside as well. And they also have a little bit of glitter, but it's not too bad. I can deal with it. But yes, I thought this was so cool. Okay, but I feel like I already have them, but I could be wrong. My mom says she didn't see me have them and that she doesn't remember. So maybe, you know, she remembers half the stuff that I do put up. 
But um, guys, that is my whole haul. And I will not be opening this here. I will be posting a video of a separate time me opening it. Um, so that way I have time to do all that and I'm not rushing. Um, but yeah, that is my whole haul. Guys, my goodness. I'm and almost an hour talking to you guys. But um, I hope you like, subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at just underscore the underscore crafter. Again, that's J-E-S-S underscore t-h-e underscore c-r-a-f-t-e-r okay y'all have a good one and please if y'all see something y'all have not seen yet or if y'all see something y'all like let me know and comment below on the comments and uh, let me know and always share and subscribe bye guys